This is part three of section 1.6. I want to solve this and I need to get one of my radicals by itself. So let's just move this one over here. So that gives me the square root of two X plus three is equal to two minus the square root of X minus two. Square both sides. So I get 2x plus 3 is equal to 4 minus, multiply these together and then double it. So I get minus 4 times the square root of x minus 2 plus, you're squaring what's under here, I get x minus 2. So I have 2x plus 3 is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2. I have the plus x minus four times the square root of x minus two. Now move each of these over to here. So if I subtract x, I get x, subtract two, and I get a one. So I have x plus one is equal to negative four times the square root of x minus two. If I could divide both sides by the negative four and have it divide evenly, I would do that. But since I don't, I'm just gonna square both sides. So over here, I get x squared plus 2x plus 1. Here, I square the negative 4 to get 16. And then I square the square root, so I have x minus 2. Now distribute here. And I get x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 16x minus 32. Now I'm going to move both of these over to here. So I get x squared, that's going to be minus 14x uh, plus 33 equals zero. And I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to a positive 33 and add to a negative 14. Negative 11 and negative three will work. So this factors as x minus 11 x minus 3 equal to 0. Now set each of these equal to 0. So from this one I get 11 and this one I get 3. And I need to check both of these. So checking 11. Let's take 11 and plug it in up here. That will be the square root of 2 times 11 is 22 plus 3 plus the square root of 11 minus two equals two. So that's the square root of 25 plus the square root of nine equal to two, and that's five plus three, which is not equal to two. Okay, so 11 was not a good solution. Let's check three. The square root of two times three is six plus three plus the square root of three minus two equal to two. The square root of nine plus the square root of one equal to two. That says three plus one equals two, which is definitely not true. So three was also a bad solution. We had two potential solutions and neither one worked. So this problem has no solution at all. Okay, so the last of our radical equations, it looks worse than it is because I have nested roots here. Now, the way we approach this is we, take, we work to at get at least one of our square roots by itself. Well, this root's by itself and so is this root. So we have three roots here, but we get rid of two of them in the same step. If you square both sides, you simply get what's underneath the radical. So I have three, since this radical is under this one, I have three times the square root of x plus one is equal to three x minus five. Now, if I could divide both sides by three and it worked out evenly, I would do that. But since it doesn't, I'm going to square both sides again. Okay. Square the three and you get a nine times 
times x plus 1 is equal to, when you square this, you get 9x squared minus 15 and double that to get 30x plus 5 squared is 25. Distribute the 9. Now move these over to this side so that we have our zero. So I have 9x squared. If I subtract 9x, I have minus 39x. Subtract the 9 and you get 16. Okay. Now you could work to see if this factored, but it won't. So I'm going to go to the, um, to the quadratic formula x equals negative b, so it's going to be positive 39, plus or minus the square root of 39 squared, minus 4, it's technically negative 39 squared, 4 times a times c. This is all over 2 times 9. So I get 39 plus or minus the square root of uh, 1,521 minus, if you multiply these together, you get 576. And this is over 18. So I have 39 plus or minus the square root of 945 over 18. And then if you simplify this square root, 39 plus or minus, this is 3 times the square root of 105 over 18. And then you can either think of this as uh, factoring out of 3 and then reducing that with an 18, or you could think of it as writing it as 39 over 18 plus or minus 3 square root of 105 over 18, and then reducing each one. 39 over 18. Uh, both of those are divisible by a 3 to give 13 over 6 plus or minus the 3 and the 18 reduce again to 105 over 6, which normally you would see like this, 13 plus or minus the square root of 105 over 6. Now we do need to check these answers. I'm going to strongly suggest that you use your calculator for these. You can plug this into your calculator and get a decimal approximation and then check it with the decimal approximation. Now you won't get exactly the same thing on both sides because you're using an approximation, which is by definition an error. So anytime you have even the slightest error, you won't get the same thing on both sides, but you should be able to check to see that they are practically the same. They're going to be very, very, very close to being the same. Now, when you do that, you have two answers here. You have the plus version and you have the minus version. When you use your calculator, you'll find that the minus one doesn't work. So you'll have to throw that one out. Your answer here is going to be only the plus version.